Scientists across the world are now trying to work out the threat from Omicron. This is what we're up against, the first 3D map of all the mutations in the protein spike that covers the surface of the virus, side by side with our current adversary, Delta. In red are the areas most heavily mutated when compared with the original virus, the one from Wuhan, and there are many more in Omicron. That constellation of mutations is important because it was the original virus that the vaccine was designed to tackle. So on paper, it doesn't look good, but it's real-world evidence that really counts. There are three key questions that need rapid answers. How transmissible is it? To take over from Delta as a dominant strain, it will have to spread more quickly. Is it more virulent? If it causes more severe disease, it would increase hospitalizations and deaths. But there are other variants that cause milder symptoms. So which is it? Is there immune escape? All those mutations are likely to reduce the effectiveness of the antibodies generated by the vaccine or previous infection. But T cells are less affected by mutations. So does that mean we'll still have enough immunity to fight off the new variant? Now, who is doing what? Well, labs, including Port and Down in the UK, will be testing blood taken from people who've recovered from COVID against the new variant. That will give the first clues on whether our antibodies are good enough to kill the virus. Vaccine manufacturers will be doing their own test to see whether they can still neutralise the variant or whether they need to redesign the jab. And most importantly of all, there will also be epidemiological studies, most likely in South Africa because it's got the most cases. They will tell us how well the current vaccines actually reduce the risks of serious disease. Now, we should get the first results from the lab tests in the next couple of weeks. The clinical studies will take a bit longer, perhaps early in the new year. Then we'll properly understand the threat from Omicron.